Templates within Storyboard provide an easy method to save and reuse common components within an application. Templates may also be shared between projects enabling users to create their own custom set of controls that guarantee consistency for look and behavior across applications. To create a template, all you need to do is come to the control that you want to create a template from. In this case, we have a standard button that has up and down events tied to it which change the image. And simply right click, select temp templates, and create new template. All we need to do is give the template a name, so standard blue button. And if we'd like to write a description, we can use that too. We say OK. A new window uh, shows up with our template inside of it. And now we can see any templates we have in the list here and a description if we provided one and a look of it. To use the template, all you need to do is click on the template in the template view and drag it out. And it'll immediately show up with all the events, variables, actions, all tied to it already, ready to use. So if we simulate now, we can see our button behaves exactly the same as the old one did. Templates can also be shared between projects. So if I wanted to grab a template from another project, in this example I'll go to our slider sample which comes with the storyboard samples. I could simply create another template from this slider example here as I've already done over here and we can see the slider shows up here. If I look at this in the navigator view we can see that what happened when I created that template is it created a slider.sbt storyboard template file which is an archive of all the information required to reproduce this template in another project including the images, fonts, events, actions and anything else that required such as Lua. So if I wanted to use this in my current project I can simply copy this file and drop it into a templates directory in my new project. So we'll do a paste here when I come back to my new project and look at the templates view, the slider is there and we can see it immediately. And I can drag it out into my new project and run simulate. And the slider is in my new project working exactly as it did in the slider sample. Hopefully this will give you enough information to get started using templates as we see them being a large part of Storyboard in the future enabling greater functionality and collaboration between users and different projects.